We had on Charlie McGilligot over from Nomura, okay. really smart guy, especially when it comes to the vol complex. And he makes the point that like, this is kind of a volatility event. It's not a stocks event. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not a fixed income or a credit event. It's played out in the vol complex. And he points to, for instance, SKU, which is, you know, demand for downside protection versus demand for upside protection, right. we had a big shift in SKU. So lots of people in 2023 were worried about a recession. So there was lots of demand for downside protection. And then in 2024, suddenly the recession kind of fades into the distance and everyone's thinking about the rally and catching on to that. And so there's a lot of demand for upside protection. And so what we saw right. last week was basically like the collision of that positioning with a change in the macro right. outlook. Suddenly, a recession isn't a zero probability event, and everyone has to chase that downside protection. Paul, I never mm. give my opinion. I 100% agree with Nomura's uh, expert on this. I, I can't say enough how vol analysis now is critical, and everybody should just calm down and go long, light, sweet, crude. Exactly. <laughs> so, Joe, you had your Nomura guest, Charlie yeah, yeah. McGillicott. Does he, was he suggesting that it was kind of a flash? Well, or is there something more fundamentally concerning in these markets? I think the way, the way he put it is that, you know, you've been rewarded now for a while betting essentially various versions of buying the dip, right? That's been the mantra for a long time. Buy the dip, markets go down, buy it. But there are other yep. flavors of buying the dip. Selling volatility is another way of describing buying the dip. Various trades, momentum trades are another way of sort of expressing mean reversion or what happened yesterday is going to happen tomorrow. And what he puts it is like, we had this sort of weak, very weak Thursday and Friday in the U.S., and then as he puts it, um, you know, the dip buyers got their fingers blown off Monday with that big <laughs> unwind in Japan. And it's right. going to take a while, in his view, until, you know, you can get burned once and then you get burned twice. And like, OK, you got to like sit this out. And so it's going to take a while, as he puts it, for the risk budgets to reemerge right. so that people feel comfortable making that mean reversion dip buying bet again.